Hi, I'm going to walk you through completing your profile in Handshake. Uh, so log in to Arizona.joinHandshake.com with your University of Arizona Net ID, and we can get started. In the top right-hand corner, there is my name, and you will see your name, and then click My Profile. Now, there are two ways that you can complete your profile in Handshake. One is right here with these three easy steps. You can add one work experience, one organization, and one skill. Now you can add that all in manually. Um, you can add work experiences that include on-campus employment, off-campus, internships. It doesn't matter whether it's paid or not. You can add it here. Also here in Add Organizations, some students don't necessarily uh, have anything to put here because maybe they're not involved in a student group on campus. But it doesn't matter if you're involved on campus. You can also include things that you are involved in off campus. If you're volunteering, if you're taking guitar lessons, all of that stuff can be included under organizations and extracurricular activities. The third way to complete your profile is to add a skill. Now Handshake will suggest a bunch of skills here and these are just probably maybe some of the more popular ones but if you don't have data analysis skills don't add that but you can just click on the green plus sign and it'll add that to your uh, profile. But the second way to do it is by uploading your resume because not only will you complete your profile with it, you'll also have it in your account so that if you decide that you want to apply for a job, you have a resume right there. Let's upload a doc, uh, my resume and see how it works. I'm going to select it from my computer in the same way I would as if I were attaching a file to a an email. I'm going to use a PDF document because for some reason when I tried it with a Word document it didn't like it. So let's do this PDF document. So we have it here in the window. Now I'm going to add document. And now it's going to say is processing. I'm going to click over here and click build profile from resume. Right, build profile from resume and it tells me I have three educations, 10 work experiences and 26 skills. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to review some of the information because it's not always going to come in correctly. So that is correct, that is not correct, so I'm going to do the blue button and change that. Um, as you see here, you can add in your start date and end date, your major minor, anything that you think is relevant. I'm going to save and approve. Now you can also look at some of my work experience. Um, it was nicely formatted in the PDF, but it doesn't always come in that way because it's a lot of bullet points. So as you can see, you might have to do just a couple of uh, backspace and spacing issues here. You know, I suppose you can always um, copy and paste, but six of one, half a dozen of the other, I say. So pick your poison. So as you would, you would just keep going through and I'm just going to go ahead and improve these for the sake of time. As you see here, look, there's no title there, so that I would have to fix that and so forth and so on. So now we're going to add an organization. I'm going to put in volunteer for Tucson Cares for Dogs. There we go. And I just started that, so it's a current position. And then I'm going to hit Save. So that's a volunteer job. Now, Handshake has parsed some skills from my resume. And it may have made some jumps because I did have a lot of like HTML and, and that kind of language in there. So I don't know JavaScript, but I do know Bootstrap. Budget, hmm, I don't know. Some of them are duplicated. Some of them don't make sense. So um, you know, just pick out the ones that make sense, take out the ones that don't, and then you can also add more in. So I'm just going to prove this for the sake of time. Um, I think that this is very complete in terms of what an employer is going to see. It knows my education level, it knows my work experience, it knows my skills, so it tells them a little bit about me. And I think that's important. So if you don't have um, an organization or extracurricular activity to put in there, don't fret. If you don't want to put your courses in there, don't fret either. Um, but I do encourage you to sort of take a look at some of the other options like down here at a project. If you're working on a group project that maybe you're working with a community partner and you're coming up with some sort of actionable plan, you know, add that in because that shows that you are putting some of the skills to work that you're learning in the classroom and that is important to employers. There you have it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.